Welcome to our podcast, where we cover unique and interesting stories for you. In this episode, we will discuss a mysterious acidic zone 13,000 feet below the ocean surface, which is enlarging and will impact many countries. A new research has made an astonishing discovery of the mysterious acidic zone expanding rapidly at 13,000 feet below the ocean surface, which is likely to have a severe impact on some parts of the Earth. The acidic zone, which is also known as the carbonate compensation depth, is present in the deepest parts of the ocean and has low temperatures combined with high pressure. The zone is known to create conditions which dissolve calcium carbonate, the material that is used for creating shells by marine animals. However, this theory stands in contrast with the idea that ocean acidification of surface water happens because the carbon dioxide released from the burning of fossil fuels is absorbed by the oceans. The researchers argue that the two theories are linked as the increase in the carbon dioxide concentrations in the ocean decreases the water body's pH and increases the rate at which calcium carbonate dissolves in the deep sea area. The transition zone in which calcium carbonate turns chemically unstable and starts to dissolve is known as the lysocline. Since the ocean seabed is almost flat, if the lysocline rises by some meters, it leads to the rapid creation of large, undersaturated areas. According to the research, this zone has increased by nearly 100 meters since pre-industrial times and is likely to further rise by hundreds of meters in this century. It is expected that the ocean floor's millions of square kilometers will go through a rapid transition in which calcareous sediment will turn chemically unstable and eventually dissolve. The lysocline transition zone's upper limit is called the calcite saturation depth, above which seabed sediments are filled with calcium carbonate and ocean water remains supersaturated with it. The calcite compensation depth is the seabed's lower limit below which seabed sediments store little or no carbonate minerals. Some of the country's exclusive economic zones will be majorly impacted by the acidic zone in comparison to others. Usually, oceanic and island nations suffer major losses, while countries that have large continental shelves lose less comparatively. The scientists have predicted that Bermuda's EEZ will be most impacted by the calcite compensation depth, which is 980 feet above the present level, and 68% of the seabed of the country that will get submerged below the lysocline. In comparison, just 6% of the US EEZ and 0.39% of the Russian EEZ will be impacted by the rise of calcite compensation depth. That's all from this podcast. Thanks for tuning in. If you enjoyed this episode, be sure to subscribe and share your thoughts in the comments. Stay connected for more exciting discussions and updates in our next podcast.